Oh god. Ew! 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 Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, no! He's oh god! Are you serious? Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, and we're limping back home. I have a big sword. Come help me! It's Garrett! Whoa, he actually Get knew the me. Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Get the Castellan! <laughs> what was that? Is, was he like 12? Uh... Garrett! Yeah, just leave him there. He's only bleeding. I was too late. What? They were already dead. To let? Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Damn skibby. Ooh, that's a nice painting. Look at that guy with the loot. The guy with the axe. Two White Hill really. soldiers. So that guy's and a Bolton. My wife. Just pretend it didn't happen. They killed my family. And for what? Pigs? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. Oh, Jesus. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cuts deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Oh, you. Oh, you're doing gross stuff. Swift. Oh, Some will call it vengeance. Pretty sure my no butt just clenched and claim it was murder. It was, murder. It was your penis. family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Elves won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. What? Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, <sighs> oh God. Ew! 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 Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, no! He's- Oh god! Are you serious? To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Uh, oh god. Greater house oh yeah, I'm gonna save your leg by putting maggots in it. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's really hands gross. now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. You're totally gonna lose your leg, dude. Totally gonna right. lose your leg. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Oh, okay. What, what are you doing? Hold this for me, will you? Hold what? Now what do you want me to hold? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Yep. It's odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> The maggot leg? Oh god. Can't believe it. Oh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Yeah, so the maggots can. Ooh. Fancy chair. I wouldn't mind having one like that. Can I have one like that? Ooh. The Ironwood Grove. What about it? <laughs> like, stupid place. <laughs> okay, I guess we're walking this way. 
Hey Maester, I can walk fine with my leg the way it is now. Oh, let's look at the tapestry. The tapestry. It's a tapestry. Look at Mira or Lady Forrester. Ryan. Roderick, who's this guy? Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. You know, Asher. What do I think I remember him from the, the TV show? Asher, Asher. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. I wouldn't say. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Learn more about the Foresters on the Menu Codex page. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Breakdance for him. Breakdance! I don't see anything else here. How are you doing that? He's just looking at it. He's just moonwalking. Wait, ooh. Look at my sword! I don't want to see It's a that good sword. thing you've done. Bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Medical supplies. Let's look at them. Okay, wait, let's. I'm just gonna take it. He's gonna be like, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Get some herbs. Will that restore like seven HP or something? This might help. <laughs> He's my help. Let, let's touch the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No, I guess. Oh, now I can look at it. Oh God! Why does he have a bucket full of maggots? Where do you get that? You, Oh, God. Uh, no. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. What? Any time will tell, but... Okay. Lady Forrest. Why don't you just jump to it? Welcome oh, home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. They were just pig farmers. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. What is it, like four in the afternoon or something? <laughs> like yeah, outside, it's like still bright. Lord Forrester fought to the end. No, it's summer. It's like nine o'clock at night. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. 
But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be and sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I can't remember the uncle's name. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken. Not demanded. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house. He is he the lord of dance. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But, I'll accuse you of murder. But, and but, us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. <laughs> Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. Who's that? The wall? You're sending him to the wall? Oh, the for The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Yeah, I'll go. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. Ah, Uncle the North you can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Stop! 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 Stop him! Why didn't you? St <sighs> okay, I get a chance to talk to him again. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. Yeah. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. 
It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Yeah, what is it? Uh, Most wow. don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, hmm. and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more about it. just yet. Jesus. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Mm, nice. I want to be a power ranger. <laughs> Dips on pink. Because this is a pretty I drab color. I mean, not that it's bad or anything. It looks great. Honestly, but. Remember, you represent all the colors house are pretty forest. Plain. Your actions at the wall bright. will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. That's right. Send me a letter about the North Globe. I don't know what the hell that is. Did he even give you anything like good to eat? Jared, wait! Oh, hey! Oh, whoa, whoa! Be safe. Was that gonna block like a fatal arrow or something? The arrowhead just ricochets or it stabs him but it gets blocked by that and I'm not fatally wounded. That would be. <laughs> I'm pretty awesome, actually, and a pretty good premonition. Jesus, I'd be pretty spot on if something like that actually happened. It's a problem child movie. Hmm, so what's going Ethan? on? Ethan? Ethan? I couldn't find him. Could you? Hmm, he's hiding. Go look for him. Would you guys like is he hide to him once? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Calm down. <coughs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. Oh, he was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, don't make promises you can't keep, kid. Here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. And Donna, I do too. Vixen. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. It's because he's a Wellington. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Oh, burn! He calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What That's does milksop right. mean? I don't know, so. but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like Your a man. Penis. Whoa, whoa, he whoa, Roderick hey. and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when we were younger? Easy to we you swing to a stick here? around, kid. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? 
You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Okay. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I'm gonna make more promises. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. That's right. But since Bow. you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. He so I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Ooh. You're commanding the Lord. Lord of the Dance. The new Lord of the Dance. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. And then he doesn't go with them at all. He's like, yeah, screw you, dude. I'm out of here. See if you can find me hiding in these trees. Is that what he's doing? Oh, no, he's actually going with him, okay. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? Your business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not That's the right. time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. Oh, well, he's got angry. five times as many men, and well, the backing we'll of House Bolton. Uh, all all the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Oh, oh yeah, we, we, I'm them. pretty sure he went down to Westeros or something like that. Oh, look at him with his pretty blonde hair. Mm. Yeah, he's a bit of a chubster, though. Oh, he definitely is. Look at him. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody Foresters. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You Foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill?
Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your Whoa. men murdered his entire Whoa, family. His you lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. Oh, yeah? I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Ooh, Have burn. you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Hmm. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Yeah, you're a craven. Oh, go get a haircut for the love of Jesus. You leave I me was alone. Wrong about your son, my lady. Get my hair kept by my mom. She used to look like a true lord. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Okay, so... Your sister can help us. I guess we're going to end it here for today, everybody. I know I didn't get to talk much. There was a lot of, uh, I guess, storyline more so than um, actual gameplay or anything. But that was, again, it, this is a very intriguing game so far. I've been liking it. I know it's only, like I said, a point and click. But it, it's been it's been pretty fun so far. And Jesus, those maggots were gross. Anyways, as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Stephanie Old World Gamer, and we will see you all next time for more Game of Thrones.